Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's abridged scripture reading is from Daniel chapter 1, verses 1 through 20, where we find that Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, has conquered Jerusalem and ordered the chief of his officials to gather young Israelite men to serve in the king's court and learn the literature and language of the Chaldeans. Verse 5. The king appointed for them a daily ration from the king's choice food and from the wine which he drank, and appointed that they should be educated three years, at the end of which they were to enter the king's personal service. Now among them from the sons of Judah were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Then the commander of the officials assigned new names to them, and to Daniel he assigned the name Belteshazzar, to Hananiah, Shadrach, to Mishael, Meshach, and to Azariah, Abednego. But Daniel made up his mind that he would not defile himself with the king's choice food or with the wine which he drank. So he sought permission from the commander of the officials that he might not defile himself. Now God granted Daniel favor and compassion in the sight of the commander of the officials. And the commander of the officials said to Daniel, I am afraid of my lord the king, who has appointed your food and your drink. For why should he see your faces looking more haggard than the youths who are your own age? Then you would make me forfeit my head to the king. But Daniel said to the overseer, whom the commander of the officials had appointed over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, Please, Test your servants for ten days, and let us be given some vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then let our appearance be observed in your presence, and the appearance of the youths who are eating the king's choice food, and deal with your servants according to what you see. So he listened to them in this matter, and tested them for ten days. At the end of ten days, their appearance seemed better, and they were fatter than all the youths who had been eating the king's choice food. So the overseer continued to withhold their choice food and the wine they were to drink, and kept giving them vegetables. As for these four youths, God gave them knowledge and intelligence in every branch of literature and wisdom. Daniel even understood all kinds of visions and dreams. Then, at the end of the days which the king had specified for presenting them, the commander of the officials presented them before Nebuchadnezzar. The king talked with them, and out of them all, not one was found like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. So they entered the king's personal service. As for every matter of wisdom and understanding about which the king consulted them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and conjurers who were in all his realm. Although Daniel was living as a captive in Babylon, he resolved in his heart not to violate God's laws. What motivated this young man to live out such a pledge? Devotion to God. Daniel determined that he would not disobey God and defile himself. Dedication to God means choosing to be set apart to love, worship, and obey only Him. When those of us who are believers keep Jesus Christ as our focus, our heart will overflow with thanksgiving and will be motivated to stand firm. Clear Direction If Daniel had refused outright to eat the king's food, he would likely have lost his life. The Lord gave him and his friends the wisdom they needed to develop an alternate plan and then also provided them with the courage to ask permission to carry it out. Notice that there was no loud demand, argument, or rebellious spirit. Their behavior was marked by trust in God and dependence on Him. Through daily prayer and meditation upon God's Word, we can keep our eyes centered on Christ, our ears attuned to His voice, and our heart motivated to obey will be able to make the same wholehearted commitment that Daniel did. So ask yourself, how eager am I to do God's will? <music> 